in the end of this, I think this idea of collaborating in the egg industry, hopefully will become obvious as to part of the solution to all these problems we're talking about. And uh, I want you to consider this thought here to begin with building a digital infrastructure uh, will make us the most competitive in the world from North American agriculture perspective. So think about that thought. And as we get through this, uh, I think it'll start to make some sense. Real brief on Bushel. We're a grain company, uh, a grain software company built in Fargo, North Dakota. Technology company, we don't buy grain. We don't sell you something uh, as an input. We are a software provider working with over 2000 grain buying facilities, ethanol plants and mills around the US and in Canada. Uh, we have 60,000 plus farmers that use our tool every day through um, the various branded customer tools that we've built and deployed. Um, and it's a huge volume of the grain origination or the purchasing grain in the U.S. that's running through, but in the U.S. and Canada, that's running through bushels platform. 40% um, in the U.S., it's about 10 billion bushels of grain uh, annually. So we're making a lot of progress in terms of the impact and who we're working with. This is a little bit about what our reach looks like um, uh, around the U.S. and in Canada, North America here. And, you know, what we do is we, if you think about us, uh, much like the last five or 10 years of the banking experience has went from being a very physical in-person paper printout of your, of your bank balance to a mobile tool to make transfers and check your balances. Bushel's doing that for the grain industry, helping farmers and their facilities, the buyers of their grain, work collaboratively, collaboratively together, scale tickets, contracts, offers, prices, all of those things in one place for each of these companies that we work with. Uh, ideas like electronic signature. Most of contracts in the, in, in the grain industry today are paper. 90% uh, of checks or 90% of payments are checks in the grain industry. So there's a lot of work to be done in this space to remove the paper and Bushel's helping to do that. And of course, giving grain offers. So the ability to do that, not just from a phone call or maybe texting your merchandiser, but actually giving that offer through uh, uh, an, an, a tool that's right in your hand, the palm of your hand. So um, with that being said, here's our thesis. The last 100 years of North American agriculture um, it's important to remember what we've done. We have built the best physical infrastructure in the world. Agriculture, we believe at Bushel is the most important industry in the world. And in North America, we have built the best physical infrastructure when it comes to moving, transporting um, these goods into um, products for food, feed, and fuel. And we do that better than anywhere else in the world. Uh, our, infra our institutional infrastructure, these tools that have been in place for 50 or 100 years, they've helped us to scale out and continue to produce um, food competitively for the world right here in North America. And it's because of these tools that we've gotten here today. But if you look at those tools that have been developed over the last 20 years and the last 100 years, we're behind. We're talking green screens, IBM-based solutions that aren't cloud-worthy today, they're not capable, uh, the ERPs, the business systems that all of our food ecosystem, our food supply chain is running on these tools that are disconnected and, and, and frankly out of date and, and at high risk of security um, flaws. And so there's lots of problems here. Bushel not necessarily solving this particular part of the problem. There's a lot of players who are investing in this, but just to understand where we're at, and then the other component is in the last 10 years um, in, in agriculture technology, there's been very few exits, very few um, successful startups. Um, there are literally thousands of startups in agriculture, 1600 egg tech startups being tracked right now. Massive investment in 2020 uh, was the largest investment in egg tech um, ever. And it's been that way for the last five years, been bigger and bigger and bigger. And the question is, where is all this money going and why have the outcomes been relatively minimal? And so that's the challenge in agriculture technology investments today is what's, what's the outcome of all this effort in the last 10 years? Part of the problem is our, our fund, fundamental understanding of this, at least from an investor perspective and in, in the egg tech space, is we don't get fully the whole supply chain. If you look at this picture, this is like was the most popular picture in egg tech uh, over the last few years was this map of the industry. And if you know anything about agriculture, you don't deliver a corn from a field on a delivery truck to the grocery store. It's just not how it works. There's a massive supply chain that sits in between here and there, whether it's consumer foods or fuel or feed for our animals, there's a massive in between and it's just not even represented. And we think at Bushel, part of the problem is we need more players to collaborate around 
helping put that in the picture and then helping to connect that and make that um, accessible for these players that are trying to solve the problems on the edge. So the question is what to do in the next 100 years. And in technology speak, 100 years is 10 years. And so we're talking in the next 10 years, what does North American agriculture need in order to be competitive uh, globally as much as we have been in the last 100 years? And our belief is that that digital infrastructure needs to be built. So the idea of tying these disparate systems, collaborating with other companies from the biggest agri-food companies in the country, uh, in the North America, and to uh, the smallest co-ops who may buy grain from the farmers directly, those companies need to be hooked together with tools and technology that work. And our mission at Bushel is to connect the grain industry through this infrastructure. We can't be the only solution. Certainly we're trying to be a part of the solution, but there's a lot of work that needs to be done. But what this does is if we can solve for this digital infrastructure, the vision, what the outcome is, is that paper processes are completely gone in our egg supply chain. Our egg supply chain becomes even more incredibly efficient than it already is physically. The amount of effort to move data and information becomes seamless and effortless. And in the end, it will allow us as companies that play in the egg tech space and the food companies who are here to start to do things like track their sustainability initiatives and understand where this food's coming from so our consumers can better understand it. Without this digital infrastructure, we believe these programs are small impact and not scalable. There's more work to be done before these programs can scale and make a global impact. And so that's our challenge. Uh, and we're hoping others can join us in the ag tech industry. How can we collaborate to compete? How can we standardize our work together in agriculture so that the paper, the pushing of information goes from physical to digital and creates a more efficient supply chain and in the end helps feed the world. And so that's what I have for you today. Um, thanks for listening to me and awesome to be here and awesome to hear the others. And uh, I'm looking forward to answering your questions in the Q&A.